like I just told you before, I come out here, I could sit up top of this hill and I'd see 10 deer every day. Mostly does and there's some spikes and stuff running by and and bear, and moose, but all of a sudden now nothing. I don't know if they cut somewhere. What's going on? Who knows? I don't know. Gotta move on. Sad to say. Moving on. back back watching this long range area <clears throat> uh, got some food now I'm gonna eat some grub burnt some energy I got a lighter jacket on this is warming up it's in the 40s now but I'm not sure how kind of cold it's gonna get this evening but because the clocks change and all it gets dark after four now instead of around six or whatever it was getting close to <laughs> so shouldn't be too bad Got the old seven millimeter Remington Magnum ready to rock. And Christensen Arms. If I see something out there, I'm trying to go over go over my ballistics a little bit. I'm using the seven millimeter Remington Magnum uh, 154 grain SSTs by Hornady. <clears throat> Going out the tube at 3,100 feet per second. So they're smoking. We will see. I can go up to 500 yards out there. I hope the heck it's not that far. But I think where the deer came out. In the evening that time, it was 300, 350 yards around that area. So we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't keep come up that far. <laughs> we'll see. I did see the people from Vermont drive back by, so I haven't seen anybody else come in. And I'm kind of disappointed about that camera. I made that, you know, freshened up that mock scrape by my stand and put some stuff on the licking branch and, you know, I had the trail camera all set and <clears throat> only two pictures. And... Like I said, I walked past the camera to freshen up that scrape to at least get me on to this day so I could, you know, see if there was anything on there. And it just said I had two pictures when I looked at the camera. So I'm assuming that those are just me. And it didn't take a single picture of anything that whole time. So that's sad. There used to be tons of deer in there. I don't know what's going on. Well, anyway, we're focusing on this now. See what happens. Just measured it partridge out there. Out was about 450 yards. Zoomed in on the uh, spot I'm here. Zoomed in with this uh, Canon video camera. Didn't zoom in all the way either, but got it enough to see it. 450 yards, and of course that's just estimate. I was trying to get off of a tree on the side of the road near where, where he was. So ways out there I'm hoping there's no deer out there with that wind blowing I don't think I'd take a shot that far this wind is just going crazy it speeds up slows down and blows all over the place so it's nothing you want to shoot any long range with because you don't know what your bullet's going to do and you don't want to wound anything maim something it's not part of the hunt hard just go what do you don't do stuff like that you know what your shot is and you know if you take it or not I say 200 yards, maybe three. I was on my shot, and if the deer's broadside and stuff like that, but. I'll see. Just listen to that wind just howling. She's cranking. Hopefully, it slows down. We'll see. Hey, I'm down to the last hour already. The wind is still just cranking out there, so. Day two, it was run, uh, really windy yesterday too. I don't know if it's gonna calm down before dark or not now, we only got an hour left and it's still pretty busy out there, so. 
Who knows? Maybe tomorrow will be better for the wind. Once that wind calms down, I think it'll be better. Still got an hour, though, so you never know. It's just... You gotta re be really careful about shooting long range in the, in the wind like that, so... Like I said, I'll keep it within 200 yards probably with a 7 millimeter. I went to Magnum. <clears throat> Maybe 300, but I wouldn't shoot much further than that, I don't think. With this wind, and it also, you'd have to wait, you know, try and hold for a calm, calm spot in the wind, and also hope that the deer will stay there, so... A whole lot of factors to figure into that one. But uh, I'll show you what I got out here. I'm still watching. Still watching way down there. See this first corner. Some purple trees right there. That's roughly a hundred yards. So if you go further out, right about it's like a, a line on the right hand side, a light patch on the side of the road. That's right about 200 yards at the end of that. Then you go right up to that little corner right there. Just at the beginning of that corner was 300 yards. 400 yards is around that corner and right to the, uh, let's see. At the bottom of that hill, how to describe. And 500 yards will be up on that bright spot on top of the hill, as, as far as you can see, but not quite. A lot of range. Seen partridge and, and turkeys. Pretty much it. I heard a couple of squirrels behind me. Haven't seen anything, any four-legged animals at all. No moose, or bear, or coyotes, or foxes, or anything. No deer. See three pickup trucks. They're all from Vermont. The last guy was a little Toyota. Just stopped and talked to me for a few minutes. Really nice fella. But down to the last hour, we'll see what happens. As you can see, it's still pretty windy out there. It gusts up pretty fast and bad too. Got these little lulls and then it sounds like a freight train flying over overhead for a minute and then it slows back down and it speeds up again. It's a very un unpredictable wind. down to 26 and if you can listen the wind has finally stopped thank god decided to hunt this place out here in Bow Bank <clears throat> I didn't realize they had done some cutting through this area so uh see what happens I guess it's 26 degrees this morning Nice and cold and quiet, so I'll show you what I got out here. Way down the center screen, about as far as you can see, it's 250 yards. So I'm using the 7 millimeter rim into Magnum again. See, right about the center screen there is a bunch of slush and that wasn't there last year. 
They've got some more down the road, a little bit further too, so maybe something will show. And there's the moon, boy, right there. I gotta zoom in on that a minute. Nice and quiet for once, so that wind blowing for the last two days. See what happens. Just saw a partridge run right across the road down there. Didn't give me enough time to film him. So, another day we've seen another grouse. I've seen more grouse this year than I've seen in a long time. Of course, I have a high powered rifle and I don't want to shoot one. But it's good to see game anyway. Last night was a boating night. Um, didn't go the way I wanted it, but it went. <laughs> Not much you can do. Learn to live with what's going on. I just wished, you know, politics wasn't such a big giant mess the way it is. It's sad how, you know, they know these elections are coming, so they wait and do just enough just before elections to get people to realize, oh, look, what's going on? And they're doing a great job. And then after the election, nothing will get done again. Well, before the election, nothing was ever getting done. <clears throat> Not as far as I saw. <clears throat> now we got a big giant mess now. It's uh, about mid November now, and gas prices are going back up. Groceries are it's as high as ever right now. You know, I just wish there was some more honesty, and sadly, <laughs> there's not going to be. It's all about all about politics, all about how they can. Make money for themselves. It's both sides. It's not just one side. That's why nothing ever gets done. Because they each have something on the other. And if you don't let me do this, I'm going to you know, call you out on that. And vice versa. That's why I like being out in the woods. Well, I kept camp out in the middle of nowhere, not have to deal with anything. Getting to that age where I just can't say you're giving up on it, but life's too short and there's a lot more things to worry about than the games that they play constantly. So I'm out here hoping I can find a deer. Buck or a doe, I'm in a zone where I can shoot a doe if I see one, so it might be what's on the agenda for today, but I am just not doing very well the last couple of years of seeing deer. <laughs> I hate to say this, but kind of jinx myself with my YouTube channel ever since I've had this YouTube channel. It's like my hunting all of a sudden, boom, <laughs> don't see any more deer, I used to see all kinds. I don't know. I don't know if there's something going on logging practices now or what's going on. But it's all of a sudden, the last couple of years, you just know where the deer aren't where they were. They're not in the numbers that they were. I don't know. We'll see. Keep watching and see what happens, I guess. Just like everything else. Cycles. Everything's in the cycle. Forgot all about this area, but for some reason, there's a lot of crows out here. I'm hearing them constantly. Some have flown by. I see one big bald eagle fly by. And then down at the bottom there, I did see a, um, one partridge run across the road and go down into that ditch to the right. About, what, 60 yards in front of me. It's up to 28 degrees now. 
bunch of thick stuff in there. I'm hoping something would come out across here into that slash and over there. But I didn't get to check for tracks today because it was dark when I got here. It's just out of lunchtime now, just after noon. It's supposed to be in the 40s today for the highs, and it's probably pretty much right there now. Still nothing out here but crows. Not one partridge. But I'm going to stick it out here till the rest of the day. For the rest of the day, I should say. So, gas prices and all that wonderful stuff. Give myself a you know, full fighting chance for one spot for the whole day and see what happens. It's been a nice day, beautiful day out. Blue skies, very, very light wind. There's not much moving around. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Down to like an hour and a half left. Slow day today besides crows, seeing crows all over the place. I saw a rabbit to the right over there, but by the time I got to the camera, it was gone. <coughs> it was brown and white. <coughs> Freaking cold. Well, I'll continue to listen and see if this thing comes out or not. We will see.
finally warm it up a little bit. Still haven't seen anything since I saw that glimpse. Glimpse of a coyote. I was just reaching for my gun because I saw something going through the trees and hoping what was a deer, but it was a coyote. It just went between two trees. That's all I got to see of them real quick. This bad cold is killing me. Need to blow my nose. <laughs> Show you what I got out here. that down on the ground <laughs> we had a big mock scrape right there got a little scent work over there too <clears throat> trail goes in that way come from over here I stand right up over there I go back there and sit on that now there's an old mock scrape there too there was a rub over there in the springtime and about 30 heads in the woods over there So this is what it looks like down here. Okay, I'll be going back up to the tree stand now and set up in there for the for the evening hunt. I made it up to tree. Almost one o'clock in the afternoon now. And the shooting light is 444, so we'll see what happens. Show you the view. Dry her up here again. Looks like we might get. Some rain, so between two and four could have a chance of thirty percent chance of rain, I guess so. Might get a little wet. Oh well. <clears throat> Maybe that'll get the deer moving. Who knows? It's supposed to be almost sixty degrees, so it's not the greatest weather. We'll see. Somebody's driving a vehicle down this road. I can't believe it. <clears throat> scare something my way but more likely to scare shit from everywhere out of here. Stupid. Pickup truck waits tall 
after shooting light to drive back out. should have been in here a couple of days before cleaning this area of tree full of dry leaves so I gotta be really quiet. Can't move around but I'll show you all I got for view today. It's a better video. more trees have fallen since the last time I've been here. We had a windstorm just the other day. So it's taking a lot of my shooting lanes out. I'll have to clean this up sometime. Today's November 11th. Veterans Day. I want to thank all the veterans. Thank you so much. You're greatly appreciated and not forgotten. This is also the day I had my accident, November 11th, 1990. 32 years I've been paraplegic. So far, nothing out there. My cold is acting up again. See, I guess. South, but know something. It's a beautiful morning now. I haven't seen anything yet so far besides a mouse right next to me. The usual birds. I haven't seen any squirrels yet. Right out of some parts of the forest is more birds and other parts of more squirrels. Seems to be more birds here.
was hunting up in the blind this morning and he said, there's heavy equipment working behind. And I can hear it from here. I was gonna mess up his hunt or not. few flocks of geese today. Bunch of birds. I haven't seen any squirrels. Had a mouse. Right, right on that birch tree right there. Running around for a few minutes. So I've got the trusty 3030 out. I don't think we'll be back in time today to... Uh, this afternoon. Jameson has like a ceremony we're gonna go do this afternoon. Cole's Transportation Museum. He's gonna have a speech there. So, gonna watch that. And maybe I uh, take my brother out for a uh, Veterans Day. We'll go out and have dinner together. Him and his family. Let's do a little bit of family stuff. I think tomorrow, Saturday, um, it's supposed to rain. But, Still may go out, may take the truck, sit in the truck somewhere. We'll see. May go up to KI, I'm not sure. We'll see what we see, I guess.